Okay, guys, I'm going to do a couple of short videos over uh, uh, chemical accelerants and some uh, random rolling mediums. Now, in this first uh, demonstration, I'm going to be using uh, toilet paper and potassium permanganate. Um, I like potassium permanganate. It's just uh, so many uses. It's kind of like uh, <laughs> the way people used to talk about eggs. You know, egg had all of these different things that you could do with it when you're cooking. Well, the same goes for potassium permanganate. You know, anything from uh, even messages to in snow, to treating fungal infections, and also purifying drinking water. It's just a it's a very necessary part of your kit if you're an avid outdoorsman. Um, here I've basically just rolled up some potassium permanganate and toilet paper and I'm just going to roll it between a flat stone and a piece of split wood. And you can see I get an ember pretty quick with this. I only put about medium pressure down on these guys. I don't like to push too hard because toilet paper is it's just not going to work with ash, you know, like that. It's kind of weak, but it worked well with a pot perm or potassium permanganate. Okay, in this video, in this demonstration, I'm going to be using uh, a two by two rayon piece of gauze, and I'm going to use that. And I believe that I have potassium permanganate again. You'll see it frequently used in these uh, two videos that I've made. Like I said, big fan of pot perm. Love it. Love it always have it with me when I'm out in the wild. Um, I'm just going to place a small amount, you don't need that much, maybe half of a teaspoon, if that, into this 2 by 2 piece of gauze, which is rayon, I hope I said that anyway. I'm just going to roll it up and get it rolling. This uh, rayon gauze that I have here, uh, Ash won't work with it well guys, so uh, that's why I'm demonstrating uh, chemical accelerants because they get up to that critical point more rapidly and with less pressure uh, than you would see with uh, ash. And ash is so abrasive that it'll basically tear and chew through and help chew through your material quicker, which is kind of counterproductive. <laughs> you kind of want to get that ember. Also, uh, well, a few times I was able to get it, it seemed to gum up uh, the material. And, snuff out the amber so I use uh, the chemical accelerants when I can with these mostly for demonstration and for my own amusement I am showing what is possible using this method and here I show that I have a good amber it's kind of one piece dropped off there when I was lifting the board but um, I've used these I don't know how many different combinations I've come up with, guys. I would say hundreds, if I had to guess. Um, and it's part of the reason why I don't um, uh, show everything that I've used, because if I did, uh, it would just be hundreds and hundreds of videos of just me doing the same old thing over and over. I'm showing some that are more, well, not necessarily random as I titled this video, but you know, things that you possibly could have with you, you know. I have heard of people using calcium hypochlorite, taking it with them way off when they wanted to purify lots of drinking water. Because it's still want to, you know, take the time to uh, carry any or <laughs> use the energy rather, which is rather kind of, you know, probably not a good idea. I couldn't imagine someone packing <laughs> gallons and gallons of water with them. You just, you're not going to. It's not feasible. Here you see I've just taken the calcium hypochlorite and rolled it up into the toilet paper. I have to say I'm not a big fan of uh, calcium hypochlorite. It's just too volatile. I mean, uh, when it goes, it goes. And right here you can see a flame. Actually, there were three flames. You just only could see one flame on the camera. Trust me. I don't use this one that much anymore, and that's why. Too volatile. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, it has a notebook paper. It's a standard piece. You'll see me crushing it up and rolling it into a ball. And I'm going to uncrush it, <laughs> roll it back out. The reason I'm doing that is it makes it more pliable. And uh, you'll definitely, uh, yeah, you'll have problems if you don't crush it up like that all those creases and whatnot allow you to roll it up easier. 
Here is uh, potassium permanganate once again. Like I said, I can't tout it enough. Very, very cool substance to have. I'm not suggesting you guys try these, but if you do, like I said in my warning at the beginning, you're kind of on your own with that and take no responsibility. I'd rather you didn't, but like I said, most of my videos are from my own personal documentation. I'm trying to see what I'm going to have for my next demonstration after this. Yeah, I have an additional one. It's not a chemical related, it's just cotton and ash. Someone wanted to see it again. Here I'm rolling it up and uh, I'm using two stones, I believe, in this demonstration. And I believe this is too rough of a surface for it. I chose to use the larger piece. And they're just smearing the, or staining the stone there with uh, that purple dye like <laughs> color from uh, potassium permanganate. And here I have a nice ember. Um, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this next clip play and play on out, and uh, I will catch you on the next video. One hundred percent cotton. One hundred percent wood ash. No heat. You see me? Mm-hmm.